Christmas day seven. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I started researching, okay, who else around me has uh, some special items out on their menu just for the holidays? And I found out that Del Taco has tamales and some kind of milkshake that is not an eggnog milkshake, but I think it is a holiday one. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a little mukbang. Uh, do you guys call it a mukbang or a mukbang? Does it matter how you say it? I don't really think so. Today we're having lunch together. I'm gonna try the tamales. Thank you guys so much for being here with me so that I don't have to eat alone. I appreciate you. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything else that I have coming up for the rest of December and we'll go ahead and get lunch started. Uh, yes, please. And what else? Uh, can I also have the dolce de leche shake? Shake? Did I say that right? Okay. Uh, uh, the uh, dolce de leche. Am I saying it wrong? What kind? Oh my god. The dolce de leche. Dolce de leche, what type? A uh, small. And that's going to be all. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> was she asking me the whole time what size? Because I really thought she was asking me what kind. But now I think she was asking me what, what size. Also, why is my total so high? What's happening? Can you extra sauce? Uh, mild, please. Wait, do I need sauce? I don't think so. Secured the bag. Let's go eat. Okay, we have made it to our desired destination, which is one of my favorite parking lots here in Vegas. Uh, I think I mentioned in another video that I love to sit here and watch the airplanes land. Uh, they're coming in and landing right on the other side of me here. So hopefully I get to catch a couple flying right over ahead. Uh, got the food, got the shake. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Uh, looks pretty caramely. We'll see how that is. Uh, the total, it was higher than what I expected. I read the menu wrong though. It's two for four tamales if you just want plain tamales. The smothered tamales are $5.49. So understandable, that's okay, that was my mistake. However, the small shake was $4.19. I better like it. Okay, this is what we got. It does smell yummy. I'm going to show it to you guys. Oh, they're slippery little things. Wait. Okay, that's just me trying. Oh my God, it's all on the side. I flipped it, guys. I flipped it. It's okay. Uh, that it's very difficult to get a thumbnail picture. Let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, I see a plane lined up, but it's quite a ways away. So, I'll go ahead and take a bite. What are you guys eating today? Are you eating with me, or are you just watching me eat? I love personally watching mukbangs. I watch them when I'm eating. I watch them when I'm not eating. I think they're entertaining. Uh, and it kind of makes you feel like you're not eating alone. For me at least. Okay. First of all, we already know I'm probably gonna make a mess. So let me lay some napkins out across me. At least try to save my clues.
just in case the first one didn't work. Ooh, I love green sauce. We're definitely trying the green first. It comes with a little uh, sour cream on the top and cilantro, which I love cilantro. Get some extra in there. Should we just go for it? Okay, so far it tastes like a tamale. Hello? I'm not mad about it, you guys. It's pretty darn tasty. <clears throat> I love tamales. I'm grateful to live in an area where a lot of tamales are sold, made and sold. I, it's one of my favorite foods. Uh, Mexican food is probably my favorite food to begin with. And then I love tamales so much. So this is a great option, a great drive-through option. Tamales aren't something you usually find in a drive-through. Uh, these are not bad at all. They're actually very tasty, really good. And I would say if you're craving a quick tamale on the go, this is your best. I mean, I haven't tried. I told you we were making messes today. It's not like I've just driven around trying tamales everywhere, but I would say this is a great option, guys. I see two planes ready to come in. Look at that. Is it not cool? I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just, you know, a plain fanatic or something, but I think it's so cool. Also, the video does not do justice just to how close they really feel. It feels like they're flying right above your head. Uh, the ground shakes. It's loud. It's powerful. I, I get such a rush out of it. I love it every time. But then when I watch it back in the video, I can tell it's definitely not as exciting in video. So although I just want to sit here all day and show you every single plane that lands, uh, I know it's probably not as exciting for you guys to watch as it is for me to experience. That was a big one. Know what it is it just is so exciting to me i know i mentioned it in that video i did when i took you guys to the park uh for a coffee date i know i mentioned it in that video because we were sitting right across the street which by the way <laughs> can i just say people were tripped up on the fact that i thought it was funny to invite you guys on a date I don't think it was that much. I think it's what I said on Twitter. Like I said, when I tweeted about the video, I said, have you ever wondered what it's like to go on a date with me? Cause I thought it was funny and it's to promote a video where I'm taking you on a date in the park. Uh, people were not impressed with that, I guess. Uh, I, <laughs> they, I think so, that it was a nerve like how could I have the nerve to just assume that people wanted to go on a date with me in the park <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> the response on Twitter to that video really got me got me laughing um, you guys when I tweet out when I put it on Instagram these videos I mean I'm doing 31 videos this month that means 31 days in a row I'm coming up with not only what I'm going to film, uh, but what I'm going to call it when I when I talk about it, when I put it out there. I'm sorry I'm not going to make a video, put my energy and effort into it, and then not talk about it on my other social media platforms. Like, I'm just not going to do that. So, apparently, uh, I just said something a little too confident, maybe. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought it was hilarious. If you watched the video, if you joined me that day in the park for coffee on our date, I hope you enjoyed it. I think some people did. I do think that when you have a newer content creator, a newer YouTuber, uh, if you have somebody who's just really starting to share their life and who they are online with the internet, it takes a while to get to know that part of them, right? People, I think, sometimes see through my humor. Either it goes over their head, they don't get it, uh, or they just don't understand me yet. They don't understand like the kind of person I really am, so where I'm coming from. And I think it does take a while to kind of feel that out. Just If that's the case, you don't have to leave rude comments, okay? You don't gotta do that. Um, distracted. You don't need to subtweet me, okay? Talking about, I'm not even gonna say it. You do not need to subtweet me. You can, if you want. Uh, <laughs> if you don't get it yet, that's perfectly fine. Either stick around and maybe one day you're gonna be like, oh, I get it. Like now I see why she said that. I see why she acted like that, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if you don't, then that's cool too. It's perfectly fine. I understand I'm not for everyone just as everyone is not for me. Uh, and if you did not wanna go on a date with me to have coffee in the park that day, then that's totally okay. It's fine. I understand. But you can just keep moving. Keep scrolling. You don't got to stop and uh, subtweet me. You don't have to freaking leave a rude comment under my hard worked video. I mean, I didn't work that hard, but you know what I'm saying? I put my time, I put my effort into it. I'm out here trying to do stuff. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Leaving rude comments, talking shit. Man. Anyways, let's try the shake. This isn't the shake. This is my body armor. <clears throat> Proud partner of the UFC. Whenever I see a private plane, I always think it's Dana White. Is that weird? What are the odds? Hey, Dana. <laughs> okay. I like how my seatbelt's just been hanging out the window this whole time. <gasps> you guys, no way, look at this shit. That's my fork just chilling in my lap and food all over me. <laughs> Let me refocus. <clears throat> this is excellent. I'll probably only have like four or five sips of this and then be done. I don't see myself drinking the whole thing, but that's just normal for me. And it doesn't mean that it's not good. It's very good. Okay, are we gonna eat more of this? Let's see, what else should we talk about, guys? This was a good lunch. Mmm. I know what I was gonna say. If you know of restaurants, places in Vegas, if you don't live here and there are places you want me to try, uh, let me know. I'm always down for a good meal. Uh, I'm always down for eating and filming. Uh, so let me know if there's a place here in Vegas that you want me to try. I don't think Del Taco is actually very popular around the entire country. That may be something that's just like a West Coast thing. So if you're on the East Coast, I hope this is a little treat for you that you get to see uh, some Del Taco in your life. 
Sorry you can't taste it. I would give you a bite. I would. If you were... If you were here with me. Honestly, I'm pretty full. There's still about, I would say, half of one left. Uh, so I ate about one and a half. Like I said, I took a few sips of the shake. I don't want to seem wasteful, you guys. I'm, I just don't eat a lot right now. So uh, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and eating lunch with me so I didn't have to eat alone. My final review of the Tom Molly's. Tom Molly's. Tom? Tom Molly's? Uh, I'm going to call them that from now on. Uh, my final review of the Tom Molly's. Uh, excellent. I would definitely get it again. No, it's not going to. This is not your homemade grandma down the street made them she she rolled 450 of them in her kitchen over this past weekend that's not this but it's pretty dang close and it was very very good uh so i'll definitely get this again probably won't get this again just because i tried it now i know i like it and that's usually enough for me like i said i don't have that big of a sweet tooth so it's very good uh, but I'm already kind of over it. All right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for having lunch with me. Um, if you're not having a wonderful day, I hope that you're finding the strength to push through. I hope that something puts a huge smile on your face today. And I hope no matter what, you always know you're not alone and that I love you. Nobody else in this world loves you. I love you. All right, guys. I love you. I will see you in my next one. Bye.